Hey everyone, it's Deepika and I'm so excited to be here with my friend Mayeli. She is an amazing makeup artist and she has done my makeup so many times. Today, Mayeli is here and she's gonna share tips on how to wear a bright, bold lip color. I think a lot of us want to and I personally love color, but it gets a little scary and intimidating. First of all, this color that you created is so beautiful. It is very different than the rest of the Hue Sticks that are out right now because it's yeah. so bright yeah. and it's like such a pop of color. Yeah. So like she said, it could be a little bit intimidating, but I'm actually gonna show you how to use it as a pop of color on the lip and then really mute it out on the cheeks and then mute it out on the eyes with some shadow on top. So it's actually gonna be in three different areas. And the coolest part about this berry shade is it literally we created it because the Tint Fam, the community literally told us. When you think about culture and what this brand stands for, yeah. It's all about celebrating color. It is. So I'm using Found and Rise. What I like to do, and this is a pro tip, and I just take the hue stick and I rub it on my hand to warm it up, and then I take the brush and I dip in to those colors. So I'm gonna now use this in the crease. The only thing that Deepika has on her eyes is a little concealer under her brow and that's it. All of this beautiful color she already had naturally. That's the cool part about the Hue Sticks is it's all made with like its natural pigments and so it kind of plays well into the natural hues of your skin. Because I want this to be more pigmented and I want it to show up, I'm gonna use it on her eye directly. Oh. So we're just gonna go, oh my goodness, look at that already. It's so beautiful. So I'm focusing closer to her lash line. So I want everyone who's watching to know all of the Hue Stick formulas are the same across the board. They're all vegan, clean, cruelty-free. This is the same formula as our original Hue Sticks, that so you'll get the same sort of buildable, blendable sort of aspect of it. We are gonna be using this as an eyeshadow base, by the way, like a primer. Okay. Because we wanna see it underneath the shadow that I'm gonna put on. So of course you can just wear it like this. Look at how beautiful this looks. But like I said, because we're gonna be using this on her lips today too, we just wanna mute it a little bit by putting on um, a shadow. I'm gonna pop some perk in the corner. You hack. If you have the Hue Sticks, don't be afraid to just mix them. We're talking about freedom, and now I'm kinda gonna change it up a little bit, and I'm actually going to, wow, this is really pretty. So what I'm doing is I'm taking perk, and I'm blending it into it. It's gonna be like an ombre effect, but just in the inner corner. Oh my God. Yeah. I feel like you barely touched my eye. This is the first tutorial we're doing with Free, and so this is like a moment, and it's a big shift for the brand in the best way possible. So far what we have, perk in the inner corner, and then we blended it, kind of ombre it into the lid, and then we have um, Free right across the lid, closer to the lash line, and we blend it up into what's in her crease, and that is Rise and Found. So that's all she has on her eyes right now. I'm about to pop in this KKW Fiery Eruption. I like to take my finger, if you're wearing this all day, you might see some creasing happening. So even if it's not a shimmery powder, you can put a matte powder, you can even put a translucent powder, but just setting it with some sort of powder or shadow will definitely help. Okay, so now we set free with the shimmery color and we're gonna go ahead and set the rise and found. We're just gonna go underneath the eye. Okay, so got my lashes on, my eyes are done, mascara's on. Yep. Now do you wanna do my cheeks or my lips? I'm actually gonna do your lip first because once you have your lip on, then you see how much blush you need. If the lip is a little muted, then you go a little bit more with the blush, but since this is such a bright lip and I can already see that it has so much pigment, I think I might tone it down with with the blush. Makes sense. So I'm gonna take the burgundy lip pencil from MAC and what I like to do, this is a pro tip, I like to pinch my pencil so that it becomes flat like this. And then what I do is I use the flat edge to line. And just one more thing as a makeup artist, I wanna make this really clear. Because we are using this on the lips, on the cheeks, on the eyes, I always sanitize this with rubbing alcohol before I use it on any other part. So we use it on her eyes and now we use it on her lips, but if you were to use it on her lips and go back to her eyes, just make sure that you're sanitizing it. So I literally just take my rubbing alcohol and spritz it and then rub it with the tissue. Wow, it's so pigmented. One swipe is enough. It's so beautiful. Let's do the bottom. So I just did perk on the cheeks, but I really, really want to see what free looks like on the cheek, but 
I just want to make sure that I'm using like the smallest bit so if you can see on my hand I'm rubbing it with the brush like this I like to start on the apples of the cheek so if you're smiling like just right exactly like right on the apples of the cheek you know what I thought it was gonna be too bright on the cheek but it's actually not I really love this color and of course I love a look that's monochromatic so we have it on her eyes her cheeks and her lip now let's start with less and build as accordingly you know and of course if you feel like you do have a little bit too much on the cheek just get your foundation brush or like the beauty blender that you had and then just dab right on top this is the final look I'm obsessed and I feel like I learned some tips on like how to really make a bright bold lip color work with my makeup let us know in the comments below what else you want to see us share with you guys and we'll see you next time bye bye everyone